All right, guys, we're out on a beautiful, hot, sunny day, and we got our work cut out for us today. We got a ring find for a, uh, a farmer who lost it many years ago, uh, trying to pull out hay from a, from a hay baler. And we've got a bit of an area here. It's not insurmountable, but it's pretty good. Maybe you could tell a little bit of the story, Jim. Yeah, I was uh, just uh, baling hay, and I was going around the perimeter of the field, and uh, the hay got stuck in the pickup. So I was down pulling the hay out. If you're if you've been a farmer, you, you know what I'm you obviously you know what I'm talking about. But uh, during the hay season, I usually lose a bit of weight, and uh, the, the, my ring slipped off my finger, and I didn't notice it right away. But along this section is uh, where the baler got stuck twice in that, uh, that event of hay. So if it's anywhere, it, it'd have to be here. Definitely, and we're gonna definitely give, us, give it our best shot today. Uh, not only is this a uh, wedding ring, but it's a family heirloom passed down. So uh, it would be really nice uh, to get this back. We'll see you on the, uh, on the field and uh, see, what we can, uh, see what we can find. Well, it isn't the ring, but it is a little bullet. All right, let's see what comes out next. Well, strangely, we got big iron in the hole, but uh, it's long and this ground is really dry and clay, so we're gonna have to leave it where it is. Well, not the ring, but uh, this, this is what it looks like when I just flipped up the plug. Looks like we got a copper jacketed rifle bullet. See you on the next. All right, guys, we got a nice solid 10 signal, only three bars down. And this is probably the best promising signal so far. Everything has been fairly deep, as you'd expect in a farm field. Although, luckily, this hay field has not been plowed since the ring was lost. So that's a very good thing. So let's, uh, let's find out what we got. Nope, just a piece of uh, tin foil. Anyway, let's see what comes up next. Aw, uh, nuts. Tiny wee bullet. Looks like it hit something too. Anyway, let's keep on moving. Alright, so we started gritting this place pretty much in the middle between that shed over there and the tree over there. So we finished. That side is now finished. Now we're working our way towards the tree. And uh, we got a really good signal, 11 solid, shallow. This just might be the one, guys. Let's dig it and find out. Cursus foiled again. Well, we got a good diggable signal here, but uh, not too bad. Looks like we got a musket ball either squished or a half of one or something. Very interesting. See you on the next. Right, guys, looks like we got ourselves a small flat button. Very thin. I think it's plain, but man, is this uh Ah, uh, nut again, and bolt. Well, we got ourselves another musky ball. Which is very interesting because I had actually always thought about hunting this field before because uh, over there at the school, uh, the farm that I'm hunting, uh, the land that school's on used to be part of it, and what I was told is that 
the village uh, militia back in the 1850s and 60s used to train over in that field. And that's where I found the powder flask uh, in the corner of the school yard where there was an old farm dump by the looks of it. And now that I'm in this edge of the field, I'm starting to find stuff like this. So it's possible and most likely they would have been, uh, when they did the target practice, they would have been firing this way from over there because the main road is just past the school. So it'd be interesting to see if we find any more in this area. All right, see you on the next. Well guys, looks like we've come up empty handed today. It's uh, possible, Jim said, the ring may not be out here. It could have possibly been bailed uh, in the baler or got stuck, who knows. Uh, but uh, as far as I know, it's not in this general area, but uh, you never know where things could turn up. We did find a few interesting things though, so uh, yeah, it's been a nice day out. Pretty darn hot, but uh, the clouds have made it a little bit cool, so overall, not a bad day. We'll maybe see what Jim, see what other areas he might have any ideas about, and uh, we could be back to see if we could find uh, that ring again. Anyway, take care, and bye for now.